So I was thinking the other day about cost benefit analysis and whether the benefit to feeding local birds outweighs the cost to nature of that bird seed being grown industrially and then transported. So, so we know that within an industrial economy, every act harms the planet, every act harms nature. And we know that industrial agriculture is incredibly destructive. So if there are sunflowers grown in North Dakota and there are that land should be prairie, but instead it's turned into sunflowers. And then red winged blackbirds are killed because the blackbirds want to eat the sunflowers. And presumably there are other insecticides or there are insecticides or rodenticides put out. And what do you call a birdicide? Avicides? Um, in any case, bird poisons put out. And so does the, the, the benefit to the local birds, to nature through the local birds, does that outweigh the harm to the birds, the land elsewhere? And also when you're feeding local birds, you're also uh, putting bird poop onto the ground, which is great for the land. You are uh, feeding the, um, the predators who eat those birds, because if you make it so instead of 10 birds surviving the summer, 15 birds or winter, whatever, to survive the year, then 15 birds survive the year, that's five more birds who could possibly be eaten by, by kestrels. And so, I mean, that's how nature works, is that everybody benefits. And the, the extra poop um, turns into better soil, which makes life happier for insects, which makes life happier for the birds who eat those insects. So is that a greater benefit to, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And so, so first I spent, I was obsessing about that and obsessing about whether that is more more, whether it is more or less helpful to the planet to, to, to feed birds locally. And then after that, I became obsessed with, well, having, if you do that cost benefit analysis, so do you have to be a slave to cost benefit analysis? Or can you simply say, I really love birds and I want to support these birds, even if it causes harm elsewhere? So there is. In addition to, and also what does it do to the local environment to increase the soundscape of those birds singing? You know, so, so there's all these ripples that go out and it's not only a cost benefit analysis, but it's other factors can enter into our decision. And then, and here's kind of the point of the whole thing, is that I realized I was doing this cost benefit analysis but it's kind of unfair because almost the only time that we would think to do a cost benefit analysis to the natural world is on something that we're doing that does have a benefit to the natural world. Because if I were to do a cost benefit analysis of filling my gas tank, it would be benefit to the natural world, zero, cost, whatever it is. And if I were to say, I'm going to put solar panels on my house, actual benefit to the natural world, zero, cost, whatever it is. If I were going to go have a tooth extracted, benefit to the natural world, zero. So it struck me as interesting that I got so interested in whether it is better for the natural world to feed, to feed birds or not, but that that doesn't normally enter our thoughts at all on 
I mean, we don't do a cost benefit analysis of whether I should get a subscription to Netflix as to how, whether that will benefit the world. So it's just, even for, for me, who, you know, I've, I've written, you know, more than 20 books on the natural world and being biocentric, it still struck me as very interesting that, that I suddenly decided to do that particular cost benefit analysis when I don't normally do a cost benefit analysis to the natural world of driving in to get a taco. Mm -hmm. 